Hi, it's Faceless Tech. I've got something to show you here, um, another kit project. Um, I was kind of looking around um, at different projects and I've seen the one where you know you put a uh, Raspberry Pi into a, an original um, brick Game Boy, uh, but it looked a bit of a hot glue mess to be honest. Um, and then I've seen this and I thought, oh, that looks quite cool. But I thought, nah, I'm not really a gamer. You know, but then the more I looked at it, the more I thought, oh, there's a few improvements I could make to this. You know, I found a few mods that people have done, and I thought, ah, oh, I'll, I'll give a crack at it, see what, see if I can add anything more to it. So, if anyone doesn't know what one of these are, it's a Pi Girl 2. It's uh, consists of a Raspberry Pi, a 2.8 inch resistive touchscreen with uh, four buttons at the side. Um, it's like a button PCB, like this one here. Um, the battery, it got a 3,000 milliamp hour battery. Uh, there's a charging circuit, there's a speaker, amplifier, uh, and that's pretty much it really. All tied together nicely in this um, 3D printed case. So I've been kind of collecting it over Christmas, I got some bits for Christmas, and uh, started putting it together. thought, great, I can do um, these. The first mod is these membrane buttons, because normally it has these clicky ones. Um, but I did these, there's going to be another video uh, in the description below about the a more in-depth look at these buttons but basically they didn't work out for me there was too many accidental button presses you'd press up and it'd also press like left or right um, accidentally and that's not really what in the game so I ended up scrapping that uh, and then going with a I actually used a uh, this is a NES D-pad um, out of an old broken controller uh, I went with the normal clicky buttons as you can hear and I went for individual buttons 8mm long nose um, clicky buttons here and then I put um, covers on the top of them just to make it a bit more comfier they, they pretty, pretty, pretty hard pretty hard pretty work pretty well um i did actually use the membrane buttons on the back because it wasn't getting the accidental button presses um but as it boots up i'll uh, show you a couple of other things that i added i did the um activity led on the side this mainly for when you're shutting down the raspberry pi you know have to wait for the 10 blinks before you can turn it off i also added a switch with um uh, to fire it down a little bit to get the hole a little bit bigger uh, with some um, screws the um, because otherwise the button was just basically uh, the switch was just kind of pushed in the hole and I thought it's kind of going to get pushed in or you know I didn't even want to hot glue it in place uh, also um, on the uh, charging circuit has a low power LED so I broke that out uh, put it on the bottom here um, also added like I said a 3000 milliamp hour battery to so give it a bit more a bit more of a boost but um, yeah here you go and a uh, there's a different theme. I also, um, I'll show you one of these Game Boy games for now. Uh, what have I been playing? Good old Tetris. Uh, configured some of the hotkeys as well. Um, I did this for volume down, volume up, and there's a mute. You could also turn this into a, a shutdown button if you wanted to do it. Um, actually, I did it on this one. Um, but yeah, also. Um, I also added, so let's turn this off, shut it down. Oh, you can, um, the game, it can run games up to about Nintendo 64. Um, I've also, you can sync a PlayStation 3 controller with it um, to play them games if you haven't got enough buttons or whatnot. Um, but yeah, turn that off, swap SD cards. I also configured, it for configured Raspbian, just a stock Raspbian build to work with it. it. took a bit of doing because the screen um, is rotated the opposite way normally if you do like just the um, stock install um, and to get the touch screen working as well. Um, I also compare a Bluetooth keyboard because it's pretty useless without one. I'll just get that to sync up when it syncs and turns on because you can use um, must be stylus going a normal stylus, um, but it's not too great really. Uh, I'll just prop that up there so you can see. Can you see that? Yeah, it's working. Let's just show you. Probably the best program to run is um, what's it called? Terminal. And if you turn the um, if you turn the font size to six, you can get it working pretty well. Like so you can see it's. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, oh, I also added this top button as a shutdown button on this one. As you can see, just wait for the 10, the 10 uh, blinks and then you can turn it off. 
Uh, as usual, there's a um, uh, be blog post in the description below with uh, any GitHub files or um, anything like that, or the other um, uh, video on the uh, PCB if you want to have a look at that. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.